Welcome back to the channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a pressurized water reactor for breeding uranium-233 fuel. Now this reactor uses thorium salt as its coolant which when depleted and enriched again in a chemical plant gives uranium-233 as a byproduct, which is a fuel rod that can be used to power this reactor and also a bigger reactor as you are going to get a lot of this. So there are timestamps in the description, make sure to use them and without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So for the people who are new to this mod, here's how the coolant cycle works for a pressurized water reactor. There's coolant in the reactor which gets converted into hot coolant when nuclear reaction happens. This hot coolant is then pumped into a heat exchanging heater and in there it can release its heat to a boiler which will produce steam and get converted into coolant. That coolant will go back into the reactor and this is a never ending cycle. But in the case of liquid thorium salt, this is not what happens as when it gets converted into hot liquid thorium salt, and after giving out its heat, it gets converted to depleted liquid thorium salt, which can be used to cool down a reactor. So in order to enrich it, we use a chemical plant and in there we pump a depleted liquid thorium salt, which after combining with two nuggets of thorium-232 gets converted back to liquid thorium salt. As a byproduct, we also get uranium-233 and nuclear waste. Uranium-233 is pretty useful as it's a fuel. So the setup I'm going to use is speed 3 overdrive 2 for this reactor. Now in order to make this design, we start with a 5x5, but leave out 8 blocks like this as we are going to place our reflectors here. So place down 8 reflectors on the bottom and now we can start placing control rods on top of the reflectors and then in the remaining spaces, I'm going to place down the coolant channel. So fill up all of the remaining spaces like this. And then we are going to make one additional layer of coolant channel on the top. This is kind of overkill, but then again, it's all right. Our reactor will perform well. Now on the top here, you can start placing down the fuel rods in total, eight of them. And in the middle, I'm going to place down a neutron source as it's required to form the reactor itself. Now place down control rods surrounding the fuel, fuel rods like this, and make sure to also place them on the outside. And once that's done, in the middle gaps, there are four gaps here, we can place down our heat sink. This will increase the heat capacity by 2 million thermal units. Now we can start placing down heat exchanger on the top as we place down coolant channels on the bottom. So make a complete layer and then on the top layer, like we did on the bottom, leave out eight spaces where we can place down some control rods. Fill out the middle. Finally, eight control rods on the corner and in the center like this. And finally, on the top, we can place down eight reflectors again in order to completely seal this reactor. And then the pressure vessel in order to fill the gaps. Now we also start filling all of the side blocks and completely cover any block that needs a pressure vessel on the top. And here's kind of the last side. Next up, we also need to place reflectors in order to seal this reactor. So reflectors right here. And then once again, make sure to cover any open block there are. And now we need to get rid of a single piece of reflector and place down a controller in there. Also, I think place four ports in order to input and output fuel and cooler. And once all of this is done, right click on the controller with an empty hand to form the pressurized water reactor. It will have 12 million thermal unit capacity. Now we place down a heat exchanger and along with the heat exchanger, also a chemical plant in order to cycle the liquid thorium salt. Now the piping work is something that you can do however you wish to. This time I'm trying out something new with the steel grates and everything like that. Anyways, Hot liquid thorium salt goes in the heat exchanger. We set the transfer rate to the maximum 24,000 per tick. And this is the hot liquid thorium salt pipe. Then we have the depleted liquid thorium salt pipe coming out, going into the chemical plant like this. And once again, I'm going to close this up. And here I'm going to try out something new. So 
in order to seal this it doesn't look bad kind of so yeah that kind of makes it look a bit more neat but well, as i said piping work is something that you can do as you wish and the final pipe will be for just liquid thorium salt the normal one which will come out of the chemical plant and go back into the reactor to cool it down so we have three pipes in total the hot liquid thorium salt depleted liquid thorium salt and normal liquid thorium salt now we place down a boiler only a single one will work for this design and in order to run this reactor we need five industrial steam turbines if you are going to use leviathan of course a single one will suffice but if using industrial for 100 percent efficiency you will need a total of five of them as we are going to get roughly 20 million hg per second out of this which is the maximum capacity of these turbines so connecting the steam pipes like we did with every other pipe and in a similar manner the low pressure steam will go into a single cooling tower the big cooling tower i mean and it is enough to sustain the entire design and we connect water pipe going back into the boiler like this and with this our piping work is kind of complete so that's all of the pipe set for the turbines the cooling tower and now we or basically uh, you need to use 101 stacks of nuggets thorium 232 nuggets that is 6464 now i'm using this number because when i processed one stack of actinide bedrock ore this is the amount of thorium 232 i got using this design right here that you see on the screen so yeah basically 6464 is what i'm going with you can place it in a mass storage unit and this can serve as an input but make sure to toggle it on the output mode i mean and speed 3 overdrive 2. now for the byproducts which is uranium 233 and the nuclear waste tiny pile of nuclear waste you can use the automatic crafters from nuclear tech mod as well i'm using the psychic assemblers from thermal expansion because they are pretty fast and they are kind of more customizable easy to use that is why i am using this but you can use whatever you want in if you want to process these so for nuclear waste i'm going with block variant and i'm going to produce fuel rods out of the uranium 233 this is the setup it's how it looks like so yeah basically 6464 one stacks of thorium 232 is what we are going to test this entire thing with after reworking the base a little bit making it a bit cleaner make sure to set the pwr to liquid thorium salt and fill up the pressurized water reactor with it make sure you have 128 buckets in there like this liquid thorium salt also in a similar manner fill the boiler up with water otherwise this whole thing won't work and make sure to set the mass storage unit to output mode this is very very important don't forget this step and as soon as you see the thorium nugget in the chemical plant we are set so taking uranium 233 fuel rods place them down the reaction will start as soon as you pull the control rods out i'm going to pull them out by 100 percent because it's completely safe the reactor isn't even running that hot to be honest and if you done like if you did everything right sorry then the thorium salt will start recycling in a similar manner so we have 51,000 approximately millibucket per second recycling every second and this is how the chemical plant will look like the nuggets will deplete pretty fast and yeah we'll start producing some fuel rods in return with 100 percent efficiency we are getting 20 million hg per second otherwise it would have been around 17 million hg with the leviathan and these are the numbers for the amount of steam and the water that we are producing now 6464 nuggets these will last you for approximately 17 minutes in total so after 17 minutes when the nuggets are about to run out i'm going to turn off the reactor beforehand otherwise it will explode so make sure to turn off the reactor as soon as the nuggets are about to run out and as i did that in time as you can see the thorium salt is completely in the reactor 
and we managed to produce around four stack of highly enriched uranium 233 fuel rods which is pretty good also 20 giga HGs of energy so if you enjoyed this video make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel for more content like this i'll see you in the next one till then peace out and stay safe